for Kobic TV. This is his um, highlight reel, getting him ready to go to the big show. He said, what's up, Eddie? Okay. Eddie's one of the local Hawaii fighters here. Um, what's your record? 14 and 3. 14 and 3. Um, you from Hawaii originally? Yeah, well, uh, when I was two, I grew up in California, but then in high school, I moved back here, and I was born in Hilo, so. In Hilo, so you were so actually I'm, born I'm in Hilo Hawaii. Boy, yeah. Oh, okay. How long have you been training? Uh, For MMA, MMA itself? Yeah. I'd say since 2000 or 90, yeah, 2000. Since so you've been professionally fighting for about four or five years. I'm professionally fighting about about five years. Uh, who you been training with? Well, my first gym was Team Tiger. Okay. They just, yeah, they disappeared. So that was with Marcelo Tiger. Yeah. Okay, and you right. trained with those guys in Pro City. Yeah. Who else was uh, involved with Team Tiger at that time? Marcelo, and then there was Augie Padigan, and there was uh, it's not too much people, but it was yeah. strong. Like it was good training, really good training back in the day. And how long did you train with with uh, Team Tiger? For about a year. Uh, they disappeared. Marcelo disappeared yeah. in Brazil. Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but you then had to go back. Yeah. Then after that, yeah. Uh, I ended up just taking a break and going straight jujitsu with Helsing. Oh, okay, with Helsing at the Gracie yeah. Academy. But then they didn't wanna, they didn't wanna um, like, they didn't wanna support me with the MMA, so I needed a fight, so uh, I went to GU. Okay. Yeah, he told me I had to be black belt to fight for for Helsing. Oh, to fight MMA. Yeah, I wasn't going to wait 10 years right. to, fight to fight MMA, you know MMA. what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. 14 and 3. Yeah. Uh, what, what was your best fight? Meaning what? Be specific. Like, when what you are, for as far as your career, for having 14 wins out of those 14, what was the, the most exciting fight for you? Uh, uh, a fight that kind of apex your career to okay say. the the fight that um really blew me up was a fight you just saw with me and ryan diaz okay yeah like especially now because he's like i don't know he's been undefeated for like his past like nine fights so he's like killing people all over the place like he beat colo when he came here you know and like he was all eyeing me out in the back you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> i want you you know yeah. what i'm saying i want you again but um I think that was the best one. I mean, if if it weren't for that fight, people wouldn't have seen me as much as they do now. You know. So. Right. Okay. And uh, MMA, you said you've been involved with it for about five years. Who were some of your favorite fighters favorite to watch fight? My number one of all time is is Vanderlei. Vanderlei. Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of disappointed in his last fight with Crow Cop, but yeah, he's still my man. You know, like yeah, yeah man. From day one, man, I was like. This guy's bad. Yeah. You know, from day one. Yeah. So. Okay. So, and what what do you what do you get out of doing MMA? What is what's the drive behind Eddie Yagen being a super lightweight champion for for the X one and and being on the streak you've been been on? Well, for me, having a belt and a title and, and doing MMA means so much to me because of all the bullshit that I've been through in my life, you know, ever since I was 13 and whatever, and went out, whatever I grew up doing, I went the wrong route, you know, I got locked up and one day, you know, when I was locked up, I got in a fight and I was like, why am I fighting and getting in trouble for it when I can fight and get paid for it? So then I started applying myself. I was 200 pounds when I got locked up. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I was this little ball, you know? Yeah. So now I'm just applying myself and I don't fight on the street no more and I mean, it, I bettered myself from it, you know. So, for for me, it's like I'd like to talk to kids and tell kids, like, you know, if you can use your your knowledge on the streets and if you have that talent and 
you think you can beat everybody up in the street like why beat everybody up and get in trouble for it when you can fight and get paid for it right you can actually make yourself a professional something right and be somebody in your life so right um when you became the x1 champion um how did it feel when you got to put the belt on and, and get crowned as a the lightweight champion i felt good man it's like I've been waiting for this belt for so long, you know, like, I felt I deserved it a long time ago, and right. I finally get it, and it's finally here, and it's mine now, you know? Okay. Right now, you're on this path with, you know, you've been doing a lot of big shows lately. I know a lot of the guys been calling you up, trying to get you to come do their events. I uh, personally have uh, talked to some guys that have been uh, kicking Eddie Yagen's name around quite a bit. Um, your goal ultimately is to try to get to the big show and whether that be um, whatever dream fight promotion there is out there if you ever get a shot to get to that level what do you think that you can bring to whatever organization organization it is you really want to be a part of first of all my heart never gives up like, uh, like I'll go all the way and I'll die in the ring if I have to you know what I'm saying like I'll go all the way and I train I train 100% to where you know I'm not going to give up for nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good ass fight no matter who I fight. You know, right. if I'm, even if I if even if they throw me in with a 300 pounds bull, like I'll fight my ass off, right. you know what I mean? All the way. Okay. And you fight primarily, what's your technique primarily? I I've I've watched a lot of your fights and I see I've seen you when you get loose, you do a lot of kicks and a lot of a lot of spinning kicks, a lot of front kicks. What 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 style is it that you really like to to go in? What's your objective to execute? Mm, I can't say I have a style. I can say that um, I can do everything my opponent doesn't like. Okay. You know, I'm pretty much a counterfighter. So if if my opponent wants to take me to the ground, I'm gonna try to stand it up. If he wants to stand it up, I'm gonna take it to the ground. Everything my opponent hates. That's what I want to do. Right. Yeah. I'm never going to play his game. You know what I'm saying? Never. You know, like, it's not because I'm scared to play his game, but I'm just being smarter. Right. You know? Okay. I'm all about the W. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so when you fight, you're jumping in the ring, you're ready to go. What are you going for when you hop into that square or octagon? You want the knockout or are you going for a submission? Well, the, what I'm thinking when I'm in there is I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm gonna break my foot on his ass. I'm gonna break my hand on his face. Whatever it takes. I don't care how I'm gonna feel after the fight. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. You know, to break my toes, whatever. I'm just gonna try to kick his ass as much as I can, no matter how it is. Yes. How do you feel about that? Um, the UFC um, Ultimate Fighter. You keep up with that show? <sighs> Man, I would love to fight UFC fighter. I would take a break from work. I would do every whatever it takes. If I could be on that show. Shit, I'll get whatever I got. How's the X1 treating you? X1 is treating me good. Yeah. That's the reason I wore this damn belt yeah. to other promotions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only reason. You know, they take care of me, and that's that's cool. Okay, well, look. Thanks for the interview, man. Good luck in the future. Hell yeah. Eddie Yagen, Koga TV. And we're out of here. My living room flow, play Nintendo with Caesar Nino. Pick up my phone, say Papa not home. Sex all night, mad head in the moon. Spin my V, smoke all my weed. Tattoo on you say you be IG. Now check it, you wanna be my mid squeeze, baby? Don't you? You wanna give me what I need, baby? Won't you? Picture life as my wife, just think. Full left, make fat X and O mix. Bracelets to match, conversation was all that. Showed you the safe combinations and all that. Guess you can say you's the one I trusted. Who would ever think that you would spread like mustard? Got hot, you sent feds to my spot. Took me to court, tried to take all I got. Another intricate block, the said I raped her. Damn, why she wanna stick me for my paper? My mosquito hole, my Versace.